At the beginning of the film, it is mentioned that it is inspired by real events. The American Samoa national soccer team, from a small island in the Pacific Ocean, suffers a heavy defeat from Australia with a record score of 31-0 in 2001. Ten years later, they are not playing much better, but they do not give up attempts to qualify for the coveted World Cup. During the halftime of one of the matches, the president of the local soccer federation, named Tavita, addresses the team. He asks the guys to score at least one goal, although they have never done it before. Otherwise, he will lose a bet and his face will be painted with markers. After another defeat, Tavita is forced to fire the head coach, a calm man with a gentle nature named Ace. In the evening, Tavita's family has dinner together, his wife Ruth, their son Daru, a player on the team, and Ace, who lives with them. The president realizes that Ace cannot handle the stress of being a coach. Ruth informs that she has reached out to the U.S. Soccer Federation to open a position and send them a new coach. She refuses to listen to her husband and son's arguments that only a local specialist can improve the team's play. Meanwhile, at the U.S. Soccer Federation's office, a coach named Thomas Ron Jin, who once played at a professional level, is being fired. They offer him an alternative to coach the American Samoa team. Not wanting to lose his job, he reluctantly accepts the offer and flies to the island. At the airport, he is greeted by a local TV channel reporter. The cameraman turns out to be Tavita, explaining to Thomas that the island is small and almost everyone works multiple jobs here. Then, the president introduces the new coach to the arriving team. They warmly welcome the unusual guest from Europe. Without exceeding the local speed limit, Tavita brings Thomas to his new home. The coach is provided with a car to get around the island. The president says that the qualifying matches start in just four weeks. All he needs from the team is at least one goal. The first team training under the new coach takes place. Ace helps him. Arriving late to the start of the session, the team spirit, a transgender football player named Jaya, enters the field. Being unhappy with his charge's discipline and fitness, Thomas tries to rectify this situation. He is irritated that Jaya constantly adjusts her hair during the game. Learning that her real name is Johnny, he threatens to always address her that way. Their conflict even leads to a scuffle, and Jaya knocks Thomas to the ground. They are separated. Going to lunch at a local restaurant, the coach discovers that it is owned by Tavita, as the team needs to be supported somehow. Daru and Jaya who takes Thomas's order, work as waiters in the establishment. The man enjoys a traditional dish of raw fish marinated in coconut cream. One day, Jaya visits the coach at his home to reconcile. They apologize to each other, have dinner together, and watch past matches of the team. Thomas is impressed by the gameplay of a former goalkeeper named Nicky Salaput. They would have conceded even more goals against Australia if not for him. Like many others, he left because people stopped believing in him. Jaya helps Thomas find Nikki, but he is unsure if he wants to return to the game. There's little time left before the start of the qualifying matches. The team's intensive physical training, along with the study of various game strategies, is coming to an end. Having filmed the team at the airport for the TV channel, Tavita then flies out with the players for the match against the Tonga national team. Upon arrival, the team checks into their accommodation and then gets into a verbal confrontation with their opponents, making various hissing and growling sounds. Unexpectedly, Nikki joins the team, lifting everyone's spirits. Before the match, Thomas discovers that Jaya is missing. He finds her in the restroom. She confesses to the coach that she stopped taking hormones to be stronger, play better, and help the team. But now, she doesn't feel like herself and is uncomfortable. Admiring her sacrifice, Thomas gives her the captain's armband and asks her to lead the team onto the field. Before the game starts, the team gears up for battle with a traditional war dance, intimidating their opponents in the process. The island's residents eagerly follow the game on television. Despite having several potential scoring opportunities, the Samoan team fails to score, unlike their opponents. The score becomes 1-0. During halftime, Thomas wants to resign and leave, convinced of his player's lack of talent. Tavita stops him, suggesting the coach open up to the team, who are stressed by his demanding nature. Thomas returns to the locker room and shares with his players that he once lost his daughter in a car accident. 
He suggests they go out and play as they know how, and to enjoy the game. The inspired team manages to equalize the score in the second half, though the ball barely crosses the goal line. Tavita is so overjoyed that he clutches his chest. However, he is okay. He just has heatstroke. After the match, Dara tells his father, who has regained consciousness, that Jaya beautifully headed the ball into the goal from a corner kick, putting the team ahead with a score of 2-1. In the final minutes, a penalty was awarded against the Samoan team. However, Nikki managed to save the shot and secure a long-awaited victory for them. At the end of the film, we learn that the Samoa team lost the next game and did not qualify for the World Cup. Thomas decides to take a break from soccer and leave. Tavita and the entire team thank him for his work and organize a festive farewell. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss out on new videos. Thanks for watching.